what's good? Good morning, y'all. It's your man Mondo Ray Boy, courtesy of DBE Sports Works. And here, taking his last victory lap. <laughs> I know y'all like that cup. Ah. Victory Monday. Don't you just love Victory Mondays? I know I do. It's one of my favorite days. Uh, so looking back at the Lions, 52 to 14, beating up the Tennessee Titans because we got a tough one coming up Sunday. And uh, damn, I was just telling the guys on the podcast last night, like, damn, if I'm Jared Goff, at least for that game yesterday, seeing how I shaped up and everything, it's like, damn, I really don't got to do nothing. <laughs> Honestly, special teams was on one. <coughs> Khalif Raymond, what can you say about that dude? Hopefully he's okay. Sonic and Knuckles, come on, man. Jared Goff had 89 yards, three touchdowns. Might have had four. Yeah, I know he only had 89 yards passing, but he was 12 or 15. He was still efficient. Now, some of y'all might wonder, like, how is that a good game, Mondo? Because if you watched the game yesterday, bro, we got short field half of the goddamn game. We will never have a game like that this season. We're not having no other games like that. I'm not saying we might not score. I ain't going to say we ain't going to score 40, possibly 50 again, but we ain't going to have no more games like we did yesterday. Damn near everything went right for us with the steps of that first quarter. And look, man, Taylor Decker, I love the guy. I do. He puts in the work. He's been here from the dog days and whatnot. I'm not saying we have to get rid of him. We may have to start somebody else over him and have Taylor Decker come in as a, you know what I'm saying, have him come in as a backup because, look, man, I love the guy I do, but Taylor Decker clearly is the weakest link of that offensive line. I've been saying it for a minute. Man Beast clearly been saying it longer than me, okay? Pretty sure Mobby might have some thoughts on that too. Ah, so next week we go in without J-Mo. That's fine, Okay. I think we'll figure it out somehow. It'll be a tough game. Because I came into this year expecting to split with the Vikings and the uh, Packers. I think we can catch the Vikings again. I do. Packers, I don't know. They might be a little tricky. We may end up splitting one with the Bears. Y'all know how it is. Division rivalry shit. Y'all know how that get. And I say, look, if Dan Campbell, if he don't get coach of the year this year, Fuck it. I don't even want the award if I'm Dan Campbell. Like, it's all good. The hell with it. Fuck it. <laughs> Especially if we get that richer prize. Now, we got a week. It's some change as far as the trade deadline. I expect we're going to make a move. It may not be who we want. But at the end of the day, as long as it's somebody that can edge rush, somebody that can help us, that can contribute, I'm all for it, man. I'm like Man Beast at this point. I really don't care at this juncture. I don't. But we definitely need to be calling Trayvon Walker. We need to be seeing what's up with Miles Garrett. We need to see what's up with uh Zadarius. And it's another dude out there too. I didn't even know his shit. Came from the Eagles. Not a bad guy. I can't think of his name right now, but his name's circulating now too, even though it wasn't circulating earlier, but whatever. And it's just good, you know. I'm glad we got this victory. Lions at six and one. We got a chance to go 7-1 next week. Do y'all realize? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm glad the Bears lost. Don't get it fucked up. Do y'all realize we almost had three, five, and two teams in the division yesterday? Had the Bears won? Shout out to Jaden Daniels, who wasn't even supposed to play. Man. And to lose like that? I know how I feel to lose like that. Trust me. We fell victim to a Hell Rogers. Remember that? Because of our boneheaded coach, Jim Caldwell. <laughs> who then had sense enough to rush four people at Aaron Rodgers as opposed to three. And the face mask is bullshit. We know that. But in any event, we off that. Shout out to Detroit Lions. Shout out to the MVP, Jared Goff. I'm going to say the MVP candidate. Y'all know they're not going to get Goff that award. <coughs> Lamar Jackson, even though they had an awkward loss yesterday to the Browns of all people. Lamar Jackson been playing. He been playing out his mind this year. And I understand why everybody's screaming at him to get the MVP, but all I'm saying as far as MVP and Lamar Jackson, been there, done that. <laughs> That's what y'all do with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? 
I can make the case Aaron Rodgers should have seven to eight MVPs. I can make that case if I want to. I won't. I can make the case LeBron's supposed to have more than four MVPs. I can make that case, but I won't. I can make the case Mike's supposed to have more than five. I'm not even going to make that case. But shout out to Detroit Lions. Shout out to 313 Hitman, Shannon K, Nomas J. Shout out to Juwan Buchanan, Intelligent Cycle. What up, Houston, Texas? 